Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, we're doing a new playthrough of Max Payne. Let me turn the volume or music down a little bit. There we go. I do really enjoy the music in this game. So I've played this game countless number of times now on both PlayStation 2 and PC. But I wasn't sure what to do for my next playthrough since the Silent Hill game that I was going to do has had some issues that I'll try to look into more with patches and that sort of thing. But anyways, since Max Payne is one of my favorite games and I've been thinking about it, about doing a playthrough of it at some point, might as well do it now while I figure out what else I want to do. So let's jump into it. So I don't think we can select any other difficulty but Fugitive on the first playthrough. So. I played on my laptop and some of the other systems, so I don't have the saves anymore for those playthroughs. Standby, 1010, investigative reported disturbance at Acer Plaza. 10 for dispatcher, verify address. It's Acer Plaza, repeat, Acer Plaza. Shots fired on the rooftop. An assault in progress at Acer Plaza. Repeat, an assault in progress. They were all dead. The final gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger, and then it was over. To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. Max Payne Part 1. I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex. Still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. The sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns. The sounds of children playing. A house across the river on the Jersey side. Beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. But they'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. Here we go. So a fairly interesting thing about this game is the base model for Max Payne in the first game is actually something ugly had been tattooed on the one wall. of the developers a map of things to come it was a poison syringe a magic tag full of diabolical meanings if i recall there's not really much around here other than this phone listen someone's broken into my house call 911 is this the pain residence Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to- Good. I'm afraid I cannot help you. Who is this? Hello? Okay, so right click is for bullet time. Gotta remember that. It's been a while since I uh, played this, so. Michelle! No! It's like stutter here and there. I'm not sure if it's because of the patch I downloaded or what. I had to download a patch to fix the music in this game. It's pretty much like a Michelle! custom patch. 
can't go that way. It's coming. Freeze! Dead. NYPD, drop it's it! Coming. I'm gonna hurt you. Actually, ah. well, I'm this shift, so there we go. No. No. Or maybe no, please, right click God, as well, no. technically. I don't know. No, 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 God, no, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. That was three years ago. Everything ripped apart in a New York minute. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr, V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and Bibi were my only contacts in the DEA, the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. Bibi here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lupino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street Station. I hadn't had a face-to-face -face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. blood in here. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. Grab all the ammo I can get. Hey, there's a few painkillers in here as well. I think in a bathroom or one of these lockers here, I forget. There we go. There's one. The pills would hold the pain back for a while. I have to remember how to use them as well. I think it might be Q. Should be a couple of bad guys out here. There we go. Two chumps down. A lot more to come. Oh, we got a Desert Eagle now. Nice. I didn't find that right. I put a head here. I might want to press the F5 to quick save. I think there's gonna be a guy with a shotgun. Yo guys. Yo guys. Hey, oh. I think downstairs might be the shotgun dude. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe he's in one of the rooms. Hey! There he is. Found him. Well, why 
Where's that? It's what the While looking for Alex, I had ended up in the middle of a big-time crime operation. Okay. I think down here is where we rescue a guy who's gonna help us out. Let me see if I can... Just adjust some settings real quick. Maybe we'll adjust the texture sharpness a tad bit. I don't know if it's a patch, but for whatever reason, the game seems a little jumpy. Also, the DPI in this game seems weird. Also... Drop that a notch. There we go. Look at this. It's so quick. Oops. Making me press all the wrong things. There we go. It's better, a little bit, but it's still jumpy. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed I remember from this game being this help. jumpy even on my laptop, so... I don't know. Sure. But I have good. to play with that, without the patch oh, to man. see what it's like. And then kind of decide from there. If it is the patch or if it's something else. Let me figure out how to use... Okay, there we go, tab. This is how we use the painkillers. Hey buddy, come on. Help us out here. Transit Home police. Free. This way. What the On the Game Boy version of the game, this part is so much harder. Especially when you have he low health already. It is not help. Spot to use bullet time. There we go. Can't remember if there's more guys up ahead or not. Let's check for any items. Here we go. Some ammo. No more painkillers here. Unfortunate. Here we go. So, no enemies in here, but we need to control the train station, I think. So, oh, here we go. Painkillers. Nice. Four of them. The train lit up like a Christmas tree. The power was back on. Okay. Let's go back to that train. I love the voice acting in this game and like all the quotes that Max says. I guess I'm trying to remember where I need to go now. Came down here, right? Down here. Oh yeah, we gotta go downstairs over here. That's what it is. Couldn't remember. And here we go. I'm the new train conductor. these guys out let's see oh, I probably could have blown that up and remember okay still part one chapter two 
The okay. rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early 40s. Something big was going down in Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. One way or the other, I was going to find out. Okay, guys, before we jump into part two, I'm going to end this part here. Hopefully it doesn't get... copyrighted for the music or anything of that sort, but... Yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next part. Thank you for watching.